Hey, I'm Dave with Matter Hackers. We're back here in the 3D printing lab, and I'm here to show you the BCN 3D Sigma. This is the BCN 3D Sigma. It's a dual extrusion 3D printer that we really like. We like it for its independent dual extruders, the build volumes, about 8 inches by 11 inches by 8 inches in the Z direction, and it's all metal hot end, which really expands the breadth of materials you can use with this machine. So what is independent dual extrusion? That's probably the biggest hype around the machine and the reason we are fielding these phone calls and getting a bunch of inquiries because of it. Independent dual extrusion means that the, the two melting heads, the uh, hot ends, are moved independently. So this one moves for one color and then this one would move for another color. They move independently. Why is that a good thing? So traditionally, you'll have two nozzles that move together. Right, so those two nozzles, it's really critical that their Z height is exactly parallel so that when they hit some datum, they don't, they're not offset. You can imagine if this one is going to print here and then this one prints here, they're not printing on the same layer anymore. You can knock parts over, you get all sorts of oozing between, uh, mixing between the materials. For instance, if you had a black and a white, you get a lot of white in the black and a lot of black in the white. This independent dual extrusion system means that we'll never get that mixing because this is happening over here and then gets stored away. This one's moving over here. This gets stored away. You can see these buckets here. So there's a bucket on the left and a bucket on the right that catches any of that oozing. The firmware and the software have really good wipe towers that make sure it's, the, the nozzles are all purged. Just that cross-contamination is a huge, huge feature for this independent dual extrusion system. The next step of, I think, where 3D printing is really going and why the independent dual extrusion system is really nice is you can do printable supports, right? So then you're going to have these, you know, a HIPS with an ABS or a PVA with a PLA. Uh, HIPS is, is dissolvable in limoline, so it prints really nice as a support system. That support system helps print the part, but then can be ripped away and dissolved away in just like a bucket of fluid. PVA, for instance, with PLA that just gets dissolved with water. So huge advantages in, in support structures being able to print at the same time. The other cool thing about the BCN Sigma is the touchscreen. So the touchscreen allows you, it's got all the capabilities of most of the machines in the industry today, right? So printing from SD card, um, it's even got an auto bed calibration, which is really valuable, except especially for the independent dual extruders. It, it goes through a calibration wizard automatically. Um, that's all facilitated through this really nice touch screen in the front panel right here. So on the touch screen, we have a print button where you can print any file from the SD card, a utilities button where we can preheat the nozzle temperatures, change filament, or calibrate the bed. If you're looking to get into dual extrusion, the BCN 3D Sigma is really the place to start. With this independent dual extruders, some of the best quality prints we've gotten dual extrusion wise. To order one and to keep up with everything 3D printing, go to matterhackers.com.